Greetings, everybody. My name is Hell's Wake, and today I'm going to talk about the audio sync issue or problem that the Elgato and the Game Capture HD program has across all cards. I've used both the Game Capture HD model that does not do 1080p 60 FPS, and I also have currently have the Game Capture HD 60 Pro model, the internal model, which also has the same problem. And let me first start off the video by describing this problem in detail. Now, when you record something and then you export it and then you get the file and then you put the file into Pro or whatever editor you use, Sony Vegas or what have you, I use Pro and I think Adobe might have more issues than other programs with Elgato uh, captured video for some reason. And then uh, the audio goes out of sync now. And um, usually what happens is in the beginning of the video, it will be just fine. Let me play the beginning of the video for you, just so you have an idea. Everything was just fine, right? No problems. But let's go all the way over here. Way, way, way towards the end. And I have a specific spot picked out for the purposes of comparison. And it is right here. And now the audio will be out of sync. Allow me to demonstrate the problem. As you can see, it's a mess. The audio is really maybe a second, maybe even less than a second out of sync, but it makes a huge difference and completely ruins the video. And it's a pain to deal with if you don't know how to fix it. I've tried chopping up the video and, and shifting things around to try to match up the audio with the video. Um, that is manual syncing, but you have to, sometimes you have to do that constantly because it will just drift out of uh, place over and over again as, as time goes on throughout the video. But I did find one solution. There are many solutions, including recompressing the video with handbrake to force constant frame rate, but that does not work because the frame rate is supposed to be constant anyway, coming from the Elgato. And it's not a problem with the capture either. Let me go ahead and show you. The raw footage, from the same time inside the game capture program will look like this. Just fine. Absolutely fine. So how about the export file, right? It might be a problem with the export. Well, here is the exported file in VLC player from the same point. Let's watch. And it works just fine, as intended. Now, something went wrong when you imported it into your editor. I had this problem with the series that was so bad before I discovered the solution, that is I couldn't fix it by manually shifting things, that I had to use a different editor entirely. I used something called HitFilm 3 Express, and it worked. There was no issues at all with sync for, for some reason, I don't know why. So there's something weird going on with Elgato's uh, encoding process or export process and how it behaves with um, Adobe Premiere's or possibly other editors import process. I don't know what the deal is, but I did find a solution. Okay, so let me show you exactly what I do to fix this. You're going to need a program called FFmpeg. 
and you want to download the shared version for whichever bit uh, platform you have. I'm using a 64-bit Windows 10, so this is Win64 shared, latest version, and you're gonna get something like this. All you really need is what's in the bin folder. You need to copy all, the, all of these files, and you basically have to make a batch file to interact with the FFmpeg to run codes through a command prompt, which sounds really, really, really complex, but it's, it's really simple, trust me. So all, I'm, all, I, all I did was, this is my Elgato file, uh, folder, my Elgato folder. This is both where my library is, but I don't think that matters. It's just where my files get exported to for convenience's sake because these sit here. I use these on almost every export because I always have this problem. And what you need to do is make a text file and call it audio ripper and rename it to dot bat. And if you edit it with the text, it is only two lines. It's really simple. And this is it. I'll put this in the description so you can copy paste. But basically it opens the program and it runs a, a command and it tells the input file and then it tells it to copy the audio into an output file. You follow? So when you export a file from Elgato, it'll usually have a long name with dates and spaces and numbers in it like this. You are going to need to rename that. I shorten it to something like this. And you need to make sure that this, this whole thing, your file matches this, what you're trying to extract the audio from, the video you're trying to fix. And then I usually just put an underscore audio on the end of it to differentiate. And once you have that, you run the batch file by double clicking. And then it'll take a few minutes. It was really quick because I just did this and deleted the old file and then I guess it's already in memory or something, so it was really quick, but you'll get the audio fo file and it will close on its own. And the cool thing about this is all you need to do is just rename these, fi these files for whatever you're using. So if I was going to use it for the next one in the series, I would just increment my number, rename my exported file, and run the, run the ripper and get my audio. Once you have your audio file, all you do is drop it into Premiere and let that bad boy conform. There we go. And the audio matches up. Make sure it matches up your, uh, that is in line with your old video. And if we go to the spot in question, you can see it, it, it really looks like it's, it's just about the same. But if you look closely, you'll see that they are shifted a little bit. So if we go mute the original track for, that came with the video and just play the new one that we ripped. Let us demonstrate. And that's it. It's fixed. So you can safely get rid of the old track. And link. Together. And there you go. Happy editing, friends. Happy editing. That's how you fix the drifting audio going out of sync in Premiere issue. It's really frustrating to deal with, but I hope this helped you out. But because our good old friends at Elgato are really, really inept, there are other issues. There's a small issue that I would like to tack onto this video to talk about. It is, I want to save this because I'm actually going to use this. I'm about to edit this file. <laughs> there is another one where the audio is slightly misaligned by only a few frames. And I have uh, my last video to demonstrate this. It's easier if you have very um, obvious visual cues, such as a menu, and let, just pay close attention here. The audio is a bit late, if you can tell. 
Watch again. So, this problem is a lot easier to solve and it is not consistent throughout. Sometimes it's off by a little bit, sometimes it's not off at all, sometimes it's off by a little bit more than a little bit, but it is. If you have a point of reference, fixable quite easily. All you need to do is unlink, and I believe in this particular instance, I was off by about 16 frames late. The audio is about 16 frames late. So if I change this to 16 frames later, like so, link it back together, and it will show the disparity right here with these red numbers. Now watch. Much better. And that's it. It should be in sync throughout the whole video. I'm grateful for these peaceful days. So, in conclusion, when you're dealing with Premiere Pro and Elgato files, uh, what you want to do is import your file, check the beginning, check the end. If it drifts out of sync at the end, you need to rip the audio. If it seems to be slightly off, try, misalign or try realigning the audio using a reference point in the video, and then check the beginning and check the end to make sure it is consistent throughout the video. And that's that. Now, I don't know what exactly causes all of this, and it's very frustrating. Um, but I do have a, a suspicion that larger files with higher bit rates are more likely to go out of sync. I say this because when I was recording on my old HD model in 720p, I never or almost never had this issue. But when I started recording at 1080p 30, it started popping up a lot more. And when I record at 1080p 60 with my newer card, it happens almost every single time. And I lowered the bitrate a little bit. I think having a higher bitrate makes the audio go out of sync more, faster, or just with higher percentage. I'm not sure the correlation, but it seems like larger videos are more susceptible to this problem. But this is for Elgato to figure out. So Elgato, fix your shit, please, because we love your products. They work great, but only when they work. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped and have a good one.